Oh, hey there, internet, didn't see you. It's me, and welcome back to my channel. So here's the tea. I have for a while wanted to react to what the cool kids call fashion trends. And recently, Emma Chamberlain, if you don't know about her, yes, you do, reacted to some latest fashion trends. And I thought, you know what? Emma Chamberlain is pretty hip in with the kids. She lives in LA, which is a very fashion conscious place. I live in middle America, or as Chris Clement calls, beige middle of nowhere. And that's where I live. And so I thought, what if I react to some of the newest trends, but with, you know, a relatable stance. And the fact that I just said relatable means that it's less relatable because I'm 25, which is ancient on the internet. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, yes, I know everyone's been saying, Lauren, react to fashion because you're a fashion icon. I wear whatever's comfortable every day. This is dressed up for me, considering I put on a little bit of eyebrow, wore jewelry, and wore something that wasn't pajamas. So take this with a grain of salt and obviously wear whatever you want. Whatever makes you happy, just do it. This is just for fun. First things first, 90s mesh tops. Explain this to me. It's a no for me, but I need to know why it's in. Because to me, if I have to wear a mesh top and have to wear something under it, that's two layers. That's two times the work. I don't have time for that. Also, I live where there's snow on the ground. Why am I gonna buy something that I can only wear for like two months out of the year? And when I do, it's probably gonna be itchy. 80s sweaters. It's a big yes for me. I love baggy, I love comfy, I love toasty warm because I'm always cold. Probably a circulation problem, who can say? And I'm really about them. My fiance, not a big fan, told me I look like a grandma when I wear them. Accurate, but still hurtful. Actually, why not make this a show and tell? This is the exact sweater in question. I got it for maybe $3 at a thrift store. And to me, it says art teacher. It says fun. It says cozy. And to him, it says grandma. Um, it's a big sweater I would wear when I was substitute teaching because it's cozy and like kind of professional because it's not sweatpants. And I really like it. So let me know in the comments if you approve because I think these are in and I want to wear them more. And I wear whatever I want. I don't care what he says, but I'm just saying. I think he's cute. Next, we have chunky rings. Uh, the only chunky ring I wear is my engagement ring. And I don't know, I'm not, I want to get more into jewelry. I think it adds a little spice, but to me, the super chunky rings that look tacky, like I ain't about it. But if you have like a nice ring that has like a message that has a story, yes. Looks like it, you got it out of a bubblegum container. No, looks like you got it out of a thrift store for $3. This next one, I have a little bit of a personal story with because my aunt is like a Vegas queen, wears everything, wears fur coats all the time. Some of them faux, some of them not. I know it's controversial. And she's a big cheetah print stan. It's not for me. Look, I understand that it can look real fashionable. Even in holiday, Emma Roberts wore it. And I was like, how does she make that look so casual and so good? I think it's very hard for someone to pull it off. But if you can, great for me. It's a no. I don't want to look like I'm on the Jersey Shore and also just lost my home in Vegas because I thought I was on a hot streak when really I'm just three drinks in. Layering clothes. Now look, to me, layering clothes is this. I've got a flannel, I've got a tank top underneath it. Boom, two layers. That's a fancy day in my book. But a lot of people think layering means, okay, let's put on a sweatshirt and then a flannel over the sweatshirt. I'm sorry, that's sociopathic to me. You're gonna put in three times the work to get dressed and then also just have all these things falling off of you and layers and sweat and what's the understanding? I live somewhere cold, but again, layers to me is let's put on a t-shirt, let's put a sweatshirt over it and then let's put on our jacket. Let's not put a t-shirt over our sweatshirt and call it fashion. Biker shorts, yes. Hard, immediate, yes. Look, she got a donk, so she loves to show it off. And also I love that they're just short leggings. Like they're shorts that are leggings. How are you gonna be mad at that? Low rise jeans can get right out of here. Trash garbage, okay? Who in their right mind is like, you know what? This part of my body is the part I wanna show off. No, false. Look, I'm very body confident. I love her. I love everything that she's working with, but I'm not gonna just cut her like a tube of biscuits, okay? We're not doing that. Also, when I was in school, again, Emma put this in her video and it's very accurate. My booty crack was out for the world to see. It was the Grand Canyon and everyone had a ticket, okay? So it's a no from me. You're either gonna show your granny panties or your butt crack or your thong if you're like, cool. Jeans in general, I don't like. My fiance likes them because he says my butt looks good in them and he's right, but I, I don't like it. Why are we constricting this area? Let us be free. Let us just be living our best life. When I'm at home, I'm in boxers or pajama pants or sweatpants and that's just the tea. I also wear them all outside, except the boxers, that's illegal. I think. E-girl fashion. Look, 
I kind of want to transfer into this realm. I want to explore it because I know that it's very hip and probably not very Midwestern, but also I love silver jewelry. I'm not a big gold girl because I'm very pasty and very pale. I'm very Victorian. So silver works better with my skin tone. And I also just don't like how gold looks. It's very 80s grandma dancer to me. I don't even know what that means, but I like that whole layer thing with the jewelry and also just black. So I like it. Tennis skirts. Listen, I don't play sports. I do yoga and I stretch every day and that's the cardio she gets in. But I love a good skirt because it's like I tried, but also I didn't really. I don't wear it for the fashion. I wear it for the comfort. And when I go to amusement parks, because it's like I'm kind of a girl still, but also if I sweat and get thigh rub in here, it's going to be okay. Like here she is. She's cute. She's festive. She's a fun color. I don't wear a lot of, I mean, I, that's a lie. I do kind of wear a lot of bright colors, but look at her. She's cute. She's fun. She's going to go wait in line for the rock and roller coaster and not get chub rub. Collared shirts. I think they're very fashion. I think they're very classy. I think that they are a moment, but do I have any now? Bell bottom pants are so garbage and they make me so mad and I don't think they look good on anybody. You can fight me. You can go get Farrah Fawcett. I don't think they're cute and I understand that they're a mood and they're a moment. No, I wore them in fifth grade. They were in back then to have the wide bottom, the bootleg cut or whatever. It just makes you look wider. Why would you want a wide? Let's, let's keep it skinny. Let's keep it going down. You're not in that 70s show, okay? You're not going to marry Eric Foreman. Flannel shirts. Um, I love them with all my soul. If I could have a million of these, I would. I think this was like $3 from Salvation Army. And I have like three others just like it. Not enough. I want a million of them. And not any of those fake flannels where it's like literally just cotton or like, I don't know, that thin fabric. No, that ain't it. We want the real cotton. We want it to look like a grandpa who threw it out, you know? Patch jeans. I really need to talk about this because this is something that people seem to think is really in. Why? Did you sew on your brownie patches from the Girl Scouts onto your pants? Because you want everyone to know that you learned how to make a popcorn necklace? Stop. Stop. Brown clothes. I guess wear a brown shirt. To me, it's just like an ugly color. I guess I just don't have any brown clothing. I don't have a personal vendetta against it. But if you're going to wear a full brown leather suit like Harry Lee Baldwin, don't go shopping at Walmart. What are you doing? When I saw this, I thought it was a joke. I, I have not heard that this is back. Granted, I'm not reading Vogue every weekend, but leg warmers? No, stop. You're not keeping your legs warm and you're not being fashionable. So what are you doing? Are you putting your phone in there? Are you putting snacks in there? Juicy track suits. I hope they come back. I guess allegedly they are back. I haven't heard of this, but I am behind this 100%. I didn't get to get into that trend because it came out when I was like, a bird almost just attacked me through the window. Did you see that? But I just, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't old enough. I was like eight or nine and just shopping from Old Navy wearing those cute little glitter shirts and maybe limited to if I was feeling spicy. But if this comes back, I'm going to have one in every color and rock it every day of the week. Maybe get a pair of Uggs. North Face puffer jacket. I don't know how this is a trend. Like if it's cold out, wear a jacket. How is that a trend? And puffy ones keep you the most insulated. So yes, obviously wear a puffer jacket. Fingerless gloves. I have a pair, but they're for my arthritic pain. Even though I'm 25, I'm actually an 80 year old. So go for it. But I mean, they're going to make you kind of look like a homeless person and also Marv or Harry from Home Alone. Zebra pants. I didn't know this was a thing and it shouldn't be a thing. What are you doing? Are you in a safari? Are you at Animal Kingdom looking for an alligator? Like, why? what are you doing? It's not, what do you pair that with? You're going to wear zebra on the top and zebra on the bottom. You're going to do zebra on the bottom, cheetah on the top. We're going to mix two of the trends. No, you're not going to do it. What are you doing? Cowboy boots. Look, the love of my life, my fiance has cowboy boots. They look really good on him. He wears a nice distressed jean with them and he can literally wear a sweatshirt with them and it still works. I don't know how he does that. But for like the normal human... How? How do you make that a look? I guess if you're in Texas and you're at an Outback Steakhouse, that probably is bad. You probably shouldn't talk about a chain steak restaurant when you're in a barbecue place, should you? Okay, this next one, <laughs> long skirt. So like I said, I was a substitute teacher for a while. I need to show you this. Now, because I'm permanently cold all the time, like we mentioned, poor circulation, I like to wear thermal leggings underneath my outfits, but I still had to look, you know, professional and whatever. And I had to be able to bend down and like do crisscross applesauce when I was teaching like kindergartners and stuff. So I would get these again from the thrift store, probably $3 long skirts and put like purple thermal leggings underneath them. 
and I, this is like three years I wore this. Is it a cute look? No, it's not fashionable at all, but it's functional and it makes me look like I kind of tried, I guess. Like, don't kick me out, let me work that day. I don't know. Do I think they're a fashion moment? Not really. Can it be made cute? Sure, not this one. Maybe one that wasn't $3, maybe one that was $5.50. Hi, Boots, this is such a moment. Nikki DeMar wears these a lot and I think it's such a look. I would totally go into it with like my e-girl phase. I have a pair that my mom used to have that I wore for like a transition video on TikTok once when I was trying to do a thirst trap. And they're a moment, I like them. I think they're iconic. I don't wear heels a lot because comfort is king for me, but I think they're cute. Baggy jeans, yes, yes, a million times, yes. I had a pair of baggy jeans, but then they got really tight in the knees, and I was like, if I can't bend, if I can't move around and do a high kick, it's not for me. So I love a baggy jean. I'm still looking for that perfect pair where it's like tight enough at the waist, but baggy enough in the knees, so I feel comfy, but also I'm wearing something again other than pajamas. Oversized glasses, again, this really big in my like fifth grade year. I remember once I went to the movie theater in like baggy sweatpants. I had an oversized like $3 purse that I got again from a thrift store and these oversized glitter glasses. And like, I think I had like my house keys hanging out of my pocket and I was like, oh my gosh, I look like a celebrity because that's what they were all wearing back then. I think I had, I had my hair in a high top knot too. And I felt so cool. So I don't know. I personally just wear like athletic sunglasses that are just gonna keep the sun out of my eyes because again, comfort, but I'm not mad at them. I thought the small glasses were pointless and I did not get it. So I guess this is the opposite of that. And I can get behind it. Kitten heels. Sure. I don't wear heels, but those, I like cats. I think that they're probably easier to walk in than normal heels. So sure. Literally my wedding is coming up in a few days and I'm probably going to wear something like kitten heels. Mullets. You know what? They're ugly and like, it's not a vibe, but like Miley Cyrus rocks it. And I guess like, if you want to do that, live your life, but it's just not for me. I would look like not it's not a vibe i wanted to do like really short pixie cut but i just haven't been able to do it yet i think after the wedding i am going to get chopped chop to like jaw length again and get it really blonde but mullet it's it's not a vibe for me it's not for me neon yes all day every day like that tennis skirt we love it we love it it's bright it's fun it says i'm here and maybe if you wear like sweatpants or leggings that are neon it looks like again like you really tried and like you're putting an outfit together but really it's just the cleanest thing that's not sitting on your floor in your bedroom Lastly, tie-dye. Yes, a million times yes. I've got so much tie-dye. This is just one of them. Again, I love it because it's like not just black and you can wear like a nice little fun t-shirt and it looks like you're saying something. It's also neon. Wow. <laughs> I'm so fashionable. Um, I think I was like $5 at a souvenir store. And it says like, I'm here. And also I like that the pattern kind of, again, makes it so you don't have to wear a bra because I never wear bras. They're annoying. Why would I? And it kind of covers up patterns so you don't like do any like revealing shows you know what I mean so that's my thoughts on all of that fashion I would love to know if you agree is there anything that I said that you're like whoa sis you're way wrong or yeah thank you I feel the same way let me know in the comments if you did like this video be sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every single week and it helps me a whole bunch subscribe